Hi everyone and welcome back. Let's just continue on our journey together to eat superfoods and things like that. So today we're going to do another one of the simple smoothies. We are just basically going to get our avocado and we're going to use some bee pollen. Bee pollen is a little on the sweeter side, um, but sometimes it's like better than eating candy. Okay, with that said, um, my name's Yvonne. I don't know if I said that. I went ahead and pre-measured my um, bee pollen into the pit portion. I don't know if you can see that. Of where the avocado usually has the pit sit. So I just used that. Kind of gave me an estimate of, you know, how much pollen I'm throwing in. With that said, let's just continue. I've already preloaded my blender with two cups of water. Now I'm going to peel the avocado into the blender and we're gonna start blending away once we get all of our uh, avocado slices in. You can see the bee pollen floating around. I'm gonna get my other portion and we're gonna continue with consuming superfoods today. As we said before, avocados are have a lot of healthy fats and vitamins and um, vitamin E, magnesium, potassium, vitamin K, all healthy stuff that we need, minerals and vitamins to invest into the health of our body so we can be able to function properly and fully throughout the day. So let's continue going, get our avocado, throw that in there. This avocado is more on the uh, ripe state. so. It's pretty much coming off. The, the peel in itself is not too um, brittle, so it doesn't fall apart really easy. So let's just continue, get the rest of our avocado in there. We're soon going to start blending. I have my avocado fingers already. I've got a little bit of um, pollen left, so let's get that in there. So avocado fingers, you know what to do. Put that all over your hand not throw it on yourself <laughs> so we just keep on going blend that all in and then we are going to blend away right now and then we're going to taste to see how this um, smoothie comes out so it's like I said avocado with bee pollen um, I've never mixed the two together however we're trying new items making new combinations learning how to get smoothies in different forms other than just one so with that said, let's blend away. Blend, blend, blend. We're blending it really well, so we're doing good. Blend, blend. That looks really good there. The uh, avocado, once you blend it enough, learn you learn that um, it has a certain texture to it when all of the avocado has already blended through it. So let's get our avocado. Let's see how our bee pollen is going to taste. We're investing into the health of our body. So let us get our superfood and consume it for the day. So we drink, drink, drink. Like I said, colder weather makes the lipids in the avocado a little firmer. Sluffier, so we drink away. Let's just drink, drink, drink. We're doing really well, consuming to the health of our body. Um, the bee pollen is not really like super sweet it's really mild but if you can usually it's just the avocado has one texture like taste and then the bee pollen it's not really prominent because it's very subtle but you know it's there because the avocado tastes a little different so let's continue drinking drink 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 Shake, shake, shake. Let's shake that all in there. We're doing really well. We're investing into the health of our body. 
one superfood at a time, throwing in whatever additional super uh, foods we can find or healthy spices and things like that. In this case, we got some bee pollen. And let's keep on drinking, drink, drink, drink. Yeah, not super sugary. However, you taste that it. it's there. The avocado, um, well, you can taste the lipids and it's a little fluffiness. So let's keep on consuming, giving our microbes that healthy fiber they want. Shake, shake, shake. Keep all our um, lipids and fiber suspended in our water. Are we doing good? It's a low glycemic in index food, so we're good there. We don't have to worry about crash and burn in our insulin and sugar levels. Like I said before, we've got that vitamin B5, which is going to help us burn some of those uh, lipid metabolism networks. Let's get the rest of our drink. As I said before, this is one of our faster smoothies. We're doing different smoothies so we can know um, which ones we want to use, depending on how much time we have during the day or night, just as long as you get it consumed within that, uh, you know, within the day's time frame. So we all get busy, so it's okay. So as long as you do it at some point. So let's shake, shake, shake. And then we drink away. Drink, drink, drink. Knowing that we're investing into the health of our body so we can um, heal ourselves, give our body what it needs, and then we can continue on in the day. So we drink away and then we shake, shake, shake and keep going. As I said before, you can always throw water in here, get any residual that's still in the jar, on the blender, and then drink away. With that said, we are done with this particular avocado and bee pollen session. With that said, we are going to, um, I'm going to bring in other stuff. Let me move this out of the way really quick so we can focus on this. So the next couple of days, we're going to try to do things where we're going to be ready for the next day, right? So... With that said, I'm going to give y'all a week's uh, notice of what we're, like, I'm going to plan what we're going to do for the next week or so, right? So, one thing we're going to do, always have, make sure you have, always, no matter what, you have a lot of this stuff already in your uh, spice rack, because, you know, we go to the store and, um, you know, we want to try different spices. Everybody has pepper, right? Bring pepper. You've got your big pepper. You've got your little pepper, depending on what kind of pepper you want. <clears throat> we all know I like cayenne. Get whatever cayenne brand you want. Just bring cayenne. We've got paprika. Paprika is more for the um, the um, smoky kind of barbecue-ish sensation. So bring that. We've got our turmeric healthy turmeric. Then we've got our ginger. Like I said, any brand. So let me try to put them where we can off, well, put them where we can see them a little bit. Then we've got our celery seeds. Celery is kind of like, yeah, you don't want to eat celery. Celery seeds are here. Then we got our cloves. Our cloves are our orex, which are ox oxygen um, absorption spices that help us, give us high levels of antioxidants. Then we've got our cinnamon, right? Everybody loves cinnamon. Then we've got sesame seeds. Every so often sesame seeds, you know, we just throw them in because sesame seeds are high in calcium. Then we also have garlic. Bring garlic too. And then this is the Himalayan salt. And then we've got our Celtic salt. These salts have different, um, they're pretty similar in so many ways. However, they 
each one has their unique benefit and one has something the other one doesn't have so we'll go over that our main item next with our next avocado session is going to be the avocado of course and then bring walnuts okay so every day we're going to do avocado with walnuts walnuts are considered another healthy food so we're going to blend every day for the next seven days avocados and walnuts and then with that we are going to add different spices to them so we can see exactly which particular smoothie combination we want and then after that we'll change it up to something else so with that said I will see you back tomorrow bring your stuff and then we will go ahead and make new uh, avocado smoothies and continue on our journey to be healthy together all right I'll see you tomorrow thanks bye